Hey all out there, this is Marlisha Monroe and if you want to learn how to make these cute little bows, then stay with me. Alright guys, so I have my glue gun here, I have my fabric, and this fabric comes in this little roll, and they have this at Joann's, they have it at Michael's, they have them, um, um, Actually, they have them like this at Walmart, but you can do anything with this. Um, it actually comes in, it's five yards, it's cotton, and this is what we're going to be using to make our bow. So with five yards, you can make however many that you need. And we have our fabric scissors here. It's always good to use fabric scissors when you're cutting fabric. And make sure you distinguish from the house scissors from the fabric scissors because they will get dull quick if you use it for other things so here we go we're gonna go ahead and make our fabric bow all right people so last year I um, searched on how to make a bow and I went to um, Cheryl and Bob you should check out their channel. They do um, your little DIYs and how to's. And I wanted to learn how to make a little bow for a headband that I was giving someone as a gift. So what I wanted to do is go ahead and show you guys exactly how to make this bow. You can use it for a headband. You can use it to place on a shoe. You can use it for anything that you would love to put a bow on your jacket, whatever. So, Cheryl and Bob made this video in 2016, so I'm making the 2017 version. And um, down below, as Cheryl and Bob posted on their um, on their video, is a list of how big you would like your bow to be, so you'll know exactly how many inches to cut. So I'll go ahead and leave that in the um, description box below so you'll know what size fabric you need for the project that you are doing. So for my project, I want my bow to be about four and a half inches um, in length. So what I'm going to do is cut my fabric. And I'm gonna cut it, let me take a look. It's gonna be 10 inches by seven inches. So go ahead, let's go ahead and get that cut. Don't worry about if it is neat when you cut. It will be just perfect at the end. You can trim any extra fabric away. So what I wanna do is go ahead and iron your piece for your bow you want to make sure it's ironed really nice and has no creases at this time so let's get started with that okay now that we have that piece nice and ironed we're going to make the strip that's going to go in the middle of the bow so I actually want this bow centerpiece to be, I guess, three, two inches by three inches. So go ahead and cut that out. Make sure that you iron this piece as well. So I'm gonna iron these two pieces that is going to be the strip. Like I said, it should be two by two inches or three or two by three inches. You wanna make sure to fold in half you're going to fold in half and iron a crease right down the middle. And this is going to be your guide. Now we have that crease down the middle. We're going to fold this into the middle and iron that as well. Now go ahead and fold 
this inward and iron that as well. Okay, so now you have your piece here that has been the long piece. Now what you want to do with this is make an like a little crease down the middle. Just take your hand and just you don't have to iron this, but just rub your finger there. And it's gonna create a crease. There we go. And what you want to do is fold this side into the crease. Take your finger and rub across so it stays. And you take the other piece and fold that in and make sure you do this down the side as well. Just so it stays and you don't have to iron anymore. And flip it over and you're gonna do like, remember back in the day when we used to make paper fans? You're gonna do that accordion style. So just make sure everything is even on both ends. You're gonna take it, the middle, you're gonna fold inward, then outward, then inward again. And that's what, what's gonna create the bow. So what you wanna do is, I'm sorry, what you wanna do is glue the inside of these pieces that you folded together. Okay, so I have my bow here made. Now what you can do is if you wanted it to be like a little hair, little clip, you can hot glue this to the back now. And even before you put on the outer layer of the strip, you can have this tucked underneath for a little hair clip. You can do anything with it. You can even make it into a bow tie. And my kids love bow ties, it's so crazy, but they do love bow ties as well. So there you have it, your own little bow.